hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem okay so we have x plus y equals 48 okay that is 8 okay so this is our equation 1 then we have x y equals 48 and this is our equation 2 now what should we do from equation 1 let's make x the subject remember x plus y equals 8 this is our equation 1 and this means that x should be equal to 8 minus y so this is now our equation 3 and we are going to need this as time goes on. Now, the next thing is to put this value of equation 3 into equation 2. Where we have xy equals 48. Now, in place of, okay, I'm going to write y first. Then, x is now 8 minus y. Then, I equate this to 48. Now let's open the bracket. 8y minus y squared is equal to 48. Then minus y squared plus 8y. Let's take this to the left. Minus 48 is equal to 0. Now to remove this negative, it means that I should multiply everything by negative 1. So that will make this to be positive, to make this to be negative 8y, to make this to be positive 48, and we have 0. Remember, there is no point writing negative 0 or positive 0. Now from here, we'll try to look for a way to solve this. Now what method? would you want us to use to solve this? And by the way, you should know that this is a quadratic equation because of the power of 2 and the equal sign. Okay, let us use the formula method for this. So y will be equal to um, minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything is over 2 times a now it is left for you to know your a b c a is a coefficient of y squared b is a coefficient of y and c is a constant right so y now will be equal to in place of minus b i'm going to write minus minus 8 because b itself is minus 8 and there's a negative in the formula. Then plus plus or minus, we have b squared. That will be minus 8. Then square this. Minus 4 times a is 1 times c. And it is 48. So we divide this by 2 times 1. And that is still 2. Okay, so let's continue with this. So we have y to be equal to 8 plus or minus. We have this. Minus 8 squared will give us 64. And then we have this. 4 times 8 is 32. We have 2 here. Then 4 times 4 is 16. Plus 3 we have 19. So we have 192 over there. And we divide the whole of this by 2. Okay, so y is equal to 8 plus or minus we have from um, 64 minus 192 is negative 128. So we divide this by 2. Now to continue y will be equal to 8 plus or minus we have 
square root of 128 multiplied by square root of negative 1. This is over 2. If you multiply this, you will have, you, you will have this back. Now, y is equal to 8 plus or minus. This 128 is the same thing as 64 multiplied by 2. Then multiply by square root of negative 1. And everything is over 2. To continue with this, y will be equal to 8 plus or minus. Square root of 64 is 8, right? Then we have root 2. Then multiply by this square root of negative 1 is imaginary. So we write i. And that will be over 2. Now, y here is equal to, we have 8 plus 8i. can multiply this and this first. Then I have root 2. Everything here is over 2, right? Now, what again can we say? This can go here and the same 2 can go here. So this means that y will be equal to 4. Okay, it's plus or minus. We have 4 plus or minus 4i. Then we have root 2. So this is what we have as the value of y. And this equally means that y is equal to 4 plus 4i root, root 2. Or we have 4 minus 4i root 2. So I'm going to pick the first value of y. And then re let's recall our equation 3. Our equation 3 is x equals 8y. 8 minus y rather. x equals 8 minus y. Now that we have the value of y, let's put it. I'm going to pick the first value of y. So x will now be equal to 8 minus then open bracket we have 4 plus 4i root 2 now let's open the bracket x will be equal to 8 minus 4 then minus 4i root 2 because the negative is to open the bracket this times this is negative 4 this times the whole of this will be negative right now we have x to be equal to 4 minus 4i root 2. So this is what we have. As a matter of fact, when x is this, what is y again? y is equal to 4 plus 4i root 2. So this is what we have. Then we are still going to get the other value of x and we'll make use of the second value of y this time around. And that is 4 minus 4i root 2. So our x, our x is still equal to 8 minus y. So x this time around is equal to 8 minus open bracket. And the second value of y is 4 minus 4i root 2. Okay, so x is equal to 8 minus 4 plus 4i root 2. Negative times 4 is negative 4. Negative times um, the whole of this will turn to positive, right? So what do we do? x is now equal to 8 minus 4 is 4, then plus 4i root 2. So this is the other value of um, x. And when this is the value of x, then y is equal to 4 minus 4i root 2. So we have come to the end of the video. And I want to believe that um, you enjoyed the steps. Thank you for watching.